All right, guys. Oh, we uh, welcome in, welcome back. It is Nippe and y'all. Are you ready to get lazy? I know I am. I am so to the err. All right. Oh man, I'm sore. I don't know if you guys watched the uh, earlier class, but uh, talked about going on uh, overdoing it and going on two long major hikes this weekend. Just overdid it back to back. All right, so let's get the neck, shoulders. I mean, every inch of me is sore right now. I had a backpack on. It was bad. <laughs> All right, body's just deconditioned for real hiking right now. All right, first one, let's try to loosen up this chest a little bit. I know my chest feels really constricted right now. Collarbone is tight. Even though they're down, but chest is still tight. Let's see if we can't loosen it up. Deep breath in, hold at the front of the knee, right about at the wrist. Deep breath in. Arch, 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 squeeze and exhale at the same time. Oh, yeah, two big ones right in the chest, right, what I needed. Oh, huge. I know you guys heard that. That was huge. Oh, oh, man. I do this like I don't do this every day, but oh. I literally save it. For you guys, ah, I'm as tight as I can get through the neck and shoulders. All right, with that being said, let's bring those in for, for a little bit of chicken. Oh, I'm too tight for both. Really, really legitimately too tight for both. Let's do one at a time. Too tight, too cold, too don't want to hurt ourselves. side. Mm. Walk it over. Mm. Oh, super tight. Rotating. Ooh. Ow. Oh, my goodness, guys. Oh, <laughs> Oh, yeah, baby. Remember, when you're working over here, you're in direct line of that, of your mucous membrane. So when you're releasing a lot of this stuff, you may release some other things as well. Oh, that's it right there. That's the stretch I need right there. Oh. I just feel the pressure moving to my elbows. Remember I was telling you how you can change it and move it into your elbow. I just felt it move on at least the left side into the elbow. Oh, let's see if we can't get the right side to do the same thing. Oh, I feel it. Mm. This is when you work the opposite side of the body. So right now, even though I have my left hand in, I'm doing the right side. <sighs> Until I try to close that leg, do I feel it on the left? But when I'm rotating and everything is releasing the right. All right. Keeping that jaw loose to see if we got anything in the elbows. <sighs> Little bit light, nowhere near where I wanted. Um, over here. Oh, yes. Yes. And we normally get the left. But hey, the body does what it wants to. Oh, yeah. Thank you. Oh, I needed that. I needed it on the left, too, though. All right, so how we're going to get on the left? Let's come down and do a compound movement. Come on down. Oh, long driving home, right, guys? Let's get this 
back nice and loose. Come on over. Deep breath in. Oh. Oh, I haven't done this in two days after the hike. I'm so surprised that both legs are on the ground pretty evenly. Now I'm going to go into a little cat and cow, see if I can't get any satisfaction. Nope. Oh, nothing there. It's a whole lot of pressure, but I can't get any satisfaction. All right. On to the next. Come up. Bend those knees. Now you're floating off the ground. Give me 20 seconds right here. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, Three, two, one. Look at that cow first. Nothing. Come up and see if we can't get a little bit of release so just so we can do a little more work. There was the show. I heard that, seen that. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Oh. Thank you, body. Oh, look at that. Look at that now. Oh, you see that? That shoulder and neck released so majorly. It's like... Felt like in um uh, in a uh, blade when they dislocate their shoulder and they go. That's how it just felt. Oh, that was that dramatic. Oh, that felt amazing. It was so dramatic. It almost feels foreign right now. Like that loosened that up that much. Oh, that was amazing. Come on back down. Ooh. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, yeah, buddy. Now we're starting to get somewhere. All right, put that hand right in the center of the back. Right there. Deep breath in. Exhale, twist and turn. Yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Thank you. This is what I call the workable releases. So by releasing, my body just released upper thoracic, not lower, which is allowing me to get more work in. Oh. Oh. So we're not trying to release everything. We just want enough release to do the work. Exhale and twist. That right side is not being very cooperative as usual, per huge. And honestly, oh, come back. Let's put those weights out of the way. Full extension. Extend all the way. Extend those arms, legs. Oh. Drop that hand down. Oh. oh, that pressure on that lower back. Mm. Oh. Oh. Walk it 
out. Exhale. Ooh, hip just said clunk. Thank you, hip. Wasn't even trying to get to you. Oh, just stretching out those hamstrings and calves so that we can get to that lower back. Oh, I want that release. Mm. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh. And drop it. Stay right here. Let's do something that's a little more advanced. So in order to move the opposite leg, you have to come up onto the ball of the foot. The leg, this leg here, is going to stay fully extended. I'm going to keep it rigid as I plant it. Oh. Mm. Notice that the, this back leg is not twisted all the way over there. It's much, much deeper stretch for the front leg. Now you're going to take that outside elbow and plant it and let it go. Oh, my goodness. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, oh. on the ball of the foot, keep the foot rigid, bring it back. Yeah, that is so much more complete. That's, I feel like two left and right side are two different things right now. Oh, pushing back, getting the last bit of that calf. Oh, man, that's good stuff. Come up onto the ball of the foot, keep this foot straight. Oh, Ooh. ah. And 10, 9, 8, 7, 6. Oh, my goodness. This is going to need more than 10 seconds. Let's go for a 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, and 6, 5, 4, Three, two, one. Yeah, that got a lot more going on in that leg. Oh, straight. Does it like that? Stretch that calf. Oh, shift the weight. Now you're shifting the weight. Ooh. Oh, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, shift to the other side. Oh, 10, 9, 8, ooh, 7, uh, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now, if you can't hold yourself on your um, hands, you can be doing all this on your elbows, all right? Which is just as intense. And walk it out. Drop that pelvis, deep breath in. Exhale as you drop the pelvis. Knees come all the way down, all the way into the mat. Come back to our scary stretch, see if we got any release, and then we'll go on to our cross leg. Go to the right side first. We always go to the left first. Come up. How is it possible that the floating one feels less strain than the non floating? Oh, that makes no sense right now. My body's playing tricks on me. All right, let's go now for the twist. 
That was really solid um, range of motion, though. That leg stayed down. I'm pretty impressed, even though I got no release. Oh, that pelvis is, is tight. All right, so it needs to be opened up. It said, okay, we're not going to give you anything with that little simple opening. You got to do more. Okay, no problem. I got you. I'm listening, body. Oh, this is the time that you wish you had a dry sauna or wet sauna in your room. A sauna of any sort right now is what you wish you had in your house at this point. All right. I just felt that ankle release. Big release. Oh, <laughs> after the hike, just a quick funny story real quick, just to lighten the load. Um, went hiking the second day with family. Well, not they didn't go with me. They came at the beginning, and then I took off. Anyway, on the way back, second day, ankles super tight. Get back in the house, stretching, releasing my ankles, and I released my I think it was my left ankle, and everybody almost ducked like this because when I twisted and went wow, because all the tension that was in the egg, egg in the leg, it felt great to me, but it sounded like I probably snapped a bone, but it felt terrific. Oh, yeah, this is going to release everything right here. All right, oh, both of them's over. Deep cleansing breath in, up, hands up over the head. Reach up, 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 and reach out and down. Oh, you are talking about tightness. God, I'm tight. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, man, oh, I can kick my own butt for not stretching, ah, oh. Oh, kick my own butt for it. <sighs> now I'm going to be all energized now after doing this. Uh, I was walking around like grandpa today. I really was. Uh, it's kind of cool to know that I can take the grandpa away at any time I want. And you should have that power over your body too. We all should. Line that leg up. Uh, <laughs> oh, time for you to go, Grandpa. And 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one. I literally felt the uh, I literally felt the tightness dwindling when I was doing that. Uh, oh, I think I'm getting close to getting my knee back to where it needs to be. It's not as painful with all the bends and stuff now. It's still tweaked out. I can feel it when I get to that point. It shoots down. The current shoots down. But uh, we got it knocking now, which is a good thing for progress. It means that, that we got to put some um, more range of motion or a little bit muscle on there for to cover up that scar tissue. All right. I think jump rope is going to probably cure it. All right. Now let's go back into that leg. First one, Ooh, put that right hand in, left hand out, oh. and 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Ooh, I'm going to lean in it, there we go, look at that hand flat now, 3, 2, 1,
Hands come in. Oh. That was so good. Left to left. Oh, and right to right. Ah. Oh. That's where he needs to be. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh. That's what pushes the um the hip out. It's gonna give us our result, guys. Oh. The body just loves it and it just doesn't know how to respond except result. Oh, all right. In and out. Oh, first one is the push down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4. Ooh. Ooh, five, four, three, two, one. That was good stuff. Uh, you ready for this leg? I don't think he's ready for it. This is gonna be a thing for me right now. I'll tell you right now, guys, hon. You gotta adjust this leg. A little bit of cheating is gonna have to happen right now. Bringing that leg out, not up to, not 90. Oh, that is tight. Ah, can't even get the hand down there. That's how tight this is right now. And 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, one, I would fall off the seat if I kept trying to get reach that reach that range of motion. That's how tight that right side is. That's my driver leg. Oh, I'm almost scared to do the uh, what's call? I don't want to um, knock off what we've set up so far. Deep breath in, and let's go for our back reach. Cleansing breath in. Oh, God, I can feel it hinging that. That pull is so significant and so tight, I can literally feel it wrapping around my uh, meniscus and coming up the inside of my uh, quad. That's how tight that leg is. So what does that tell us? We probably should be doing a hurdler stretch right now to come and pull that inside of that hamstring in. All right, guys, both knees together. Bring them down. Goodness. Oh, that is so over the top tight. Oh. Oh, okay, this is I found our exercise that's going to loosen us up. Oh man, I just got the right right hip, just did it. So that probably means that the, the right side of my back will probably be released now, too. <clears throat> I need both. I need that left to release too. Come on, left. Oh, more on the right too. Ah, come on, left. Just stretched it, no release. Oh, oh, don't get overzealous. Ah. Oh, 
God, see, we got to stay on top of this, guys. We don't want to go backwards. We were to the point where I didn't even feel this. <sighs> but this is all from the hype. I can guarantee that. Oh, that's my IT and my psoas muscles. See, you see how tight they get? And that's just one hike. Now, imagine if you go hiking all the time and you don't stretch those out. This is why you get those, we start to develop those issues. Your foot starts to pitch and all that. And that's just on one hike over one weekend or two hikes over one weekend. And just imagine if you just walk around all the time for months and months and months would equate to about what I did without any type of a uh, stretch or release. All right. So think about that, guys. Let's come up one more time. Oh, we got rid of the grandpa. Absolutely. But let's see if we got any more to give over here on the stool. Oh, I would love to get that. Money. As soon as I went in the cat and cow, big release right in the center. Oh, that's what the body wanted. And normally, if I'm going to go, that would be enough for me to stop. I would keep going right now, but our time is up, but that is a beautiful, beautiful way to end with no pressure in the scary stretch. Oh, God, I felt amazing. I told you, as soon as I felt that that right hip release, I knew that everything was going to fall into place. Oh, it's going to be something weird today when I'm probably sit down to dinner or something and kick my leg out and go like this, and my left hip's going to go poof. I already know it's going to be something off, but to do it, execute it um, right then to get that right hot, um, hip to release in the front. Notice we were doing all that satchel work all in the back. The back said, no, no, no. Come to the front. You got to listen to the body. We got that release. We didn't get the left hip, which is going to be kind of a cake. Well, it's going to be easy. We just can put that up on the, on the couch or something. Do a few of those for 10 minutes. We'll be done. But to get that center back release is what we all want, especially after a long day and to get it in uh, 15, 20 minutes, a half hour is pretty phenomenal. So that's where we want to stay in that pocket and keep the body uh, being able to release in that amount of time and knowing how to adjust from, hey, if we're going satchel, 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 don't give up there. A lot of people will tap out and just keep, they'll stay on their back and go into a foam roller and try to get everything out. You got to come to the front, open and close, kind of like a I don't know, what, what are the thing that you used to make when you were a kid? You got to open and close. The body needs to be done like this. You know, you got to work it, open and close it, bend it, and, and then it'll, it'll give you everything that you want. And if you don't get everything you want, go back and do it again. It will come. That is a guarantee. I, my personal guarantee. I do it all the time in front of you guys. Come in here stiff as a board and leave out nice and limber, just like today. No scary stretch. I mean, no uh, daddy walk when I stand up. Because you've seen me walk over here the first few. Ah. Uh, can't play it off. This is legit. All right, guys? Oh, I feel so much better. Still a little bit tight in the lower, lower, um, um, not lower back, but mid back. So upper uh, lumbar, still a little bit tight. But um, we have further work on the, on, the, on the hamstrings to get all that tight uh, fixed up. Even when I was bending down, when I first got started, I was like, Argh. so, oh, much better. Thanks a lot, guys. I'll see you soon. From me to you, adios.